Hello there, great person, and welcome back to Let's Read the Wheel of Time. Today we're at chapter 15, and let's see if we if we still are with the new secret agents Nynaeve and Egwen, or if we switch over to Perrin, or perhaps even Ran. Let's just go, let's just have some fun. So the chapter is called, apparently, The Grey Man. Oh, is the new monster thing? Okay. Theories about the new monster thing. Looks like an alien, probably not an alien, but the Grey Man already existed in our time. And that is where the legend of the Grey Aliens comes from. That's, that has to be it, really. So let's just see. Oh, and it's, it's this uh, double-sided thing again. They're the same symbol as last chapter, and I still don't know what it means. What does it mean? Oh, and it's Igwen and Nynaeve chapter time again. So we might get some of the research, perhaps? Why does Nynaeve always tug at her uh, braid, by the way? She did it twice in the last chapter, didn't mention it, but why does she do that? Is it just nervousness, or is it something different? Oh, interesting. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Did I not get something? And Gwen now says, I hope you didn't mean what you said about acting as if we are already bound by the three oaths. I don't intend to let them kill me, not if I can stop it by channeling. Does that mean you couldn't fight against the Black Archer because of the oaths? Why? Isn't it like you can't hurt others except for if your life's in danger? Isn't that an oath? I might be mistaken. If I am, I'm sorry. I've not heard the three oaths since book one, I think, so I might be a bit rusty on those. Okay, and uh, Nynaeve just argues, yeah, if there are still Black Archer here, they will see us as a threat, simply because, I, I guess it's because Nynaeve, uh, I'm sorry, because um, Leandrin is gone now and she probably told them. That's, yeah. Okay, and uh, Egwen points out, why would they be threatened by us because we are like just kitchen girls currently. Leandrin would not have tried to put, out, put us out of the way unless she thought we were a threat to her. I don't know about that. If Leandrin is really Black Arja, it might have been also an order by the Dark One. Or it might have been Leandrin being a bee. I don't know. One of those two is probably the case. And I hope we will find out soon which one. That's, yeah. I, I don't know. I get the feeling that the Dark One um, like acted through, through Leandrin because he, he knows that those two will be problematic otherwise. So. Oh, and Nynaeve is serious with not trying to harm others. I meant every word. There are other ways to defend ourselves. If there were not, Esedai would be killed every time they left the tower. Just have to reason those ways out and use them. Okay. I hope you find those ways, because otherwise you're in a pretty bad spot right now. I know several ways already, and so do you. They are dangerous. What ways? You can come to like those ways too much. Yeah, she's like, yeah, Gwen, I know you can, like, rupture the earth or whatever she did, but it might make you addicted to that. Yeah, and Egwen is now like she's had enough and she's like, Nynaeve, what the frick are you talking about? You were never in line with what they did. You tried to push the boundaries. What's going on now? Why are you like this suddenly? Oh, and Nynaeve's just like, yeah, because if we're sent out of the towers, we'll do no good to anyone. <laughs> I must if, if I'm to stay here long enough to learn, and I must learn if I'm too. Is she planning on getting land as a water? Is she planning on ending? She isn't planning on ending Moraine, I think. I don't think so. It's, that would be stupid. What does she want? The only thing I imagine she wants is, like, saving the people from the village and uh, being together with land, so yeah. And it's all also suddenly, it wasn't like that before. Nanif suddenly wants to be taught a lot, so.
Okay, so Nynaeve now wants to talk to Elaine and Egwen, but Elaine is not there. Uh. Something tucked at Egwen's hair stung her ear. What? Black blur streaked in front of her face to clang against the wall, and in the next breath, Nynaeve was bearing her to the gallery floor. Behind the railing, what? What's happening? Oh, she was shot by a crossbow. Almost. That's not good. What's happening? Yeah, okay, so they were attacked randomly in their quarters. That's pretty dangerous to attack them there, though. Like, they now can perhaps chase them down? I don't know. Okay, and I need to know starting to cast stuff. Yeah, channel, channel, channel at them. Okay, and Egwen's now panicking and can't channel. So you have not yet mastered what you need to be accepted. Uh, I mean, a short acid eye. Okay, so they, they didn't see what it was. Is it the gray man from the title? Might be. Okay, so Nynaeve spotted whatever it was and says, There, there. And something happened. Let's see what happened. Of the five powers, Nynaeve said in a lecturing tone, faintly mocking, air sometimes called wind is thought by many to be of the least use. This is far from true. I'm sure it is. Oh, she used the Emelin trick, like to freeze air around them. Okay, and it's a man. Is it the gray man, though? Nanif only had to see a thing done once to know how to do it herself. So she's Bam or Kakashi. I understand. That makes her incredibly powerful. Oh, and the man's dying because there's a dagger in his chest. Why is there a dagger in his chest? Okay, and he does not have a crossbow with him. He just dropped dead because a dagger pierced his stomach or whatever. Okay, now someone's coming. Who's coming? Oh, it's Sherry M. It's Sherry and Black Archer, though. So let's see what happens. Okay, and he just says, yeah, we found this guy here. He was dead. Very sad. We we're all very sad about that. As dead as it is possible to be and more. What are you talking about, woman? What does she mean? What does, what does Sharia mean with that? What makes him different and how could he be more dead? Yeah. He's one of the soulless, a grey man. Okay, he is a grey man, but what does it mean? He's like, there is a lot of emphasis on him being completely average, so. Okay, please tell me now what the grey men are. They serve the Dark One as assassins. Okay. They're not really alive, not quite dead, but not truly alive. Okay, so they're like zombie, controlled zombies. Okay, and some grey men are women. Because why not? Because why don't you call them grey people? Then? That's a bit weird, okay. But I think grey men is... I don't know why, why it sounds more ominous, but I don't know why. You can look right at them and hardly notice them until it is too late. Yeah. No grey man has dared enter Tavalon since the Trollog Wars. Yeah, because you're now in deep trouble. Because the Dark One's rising again. What will you do if I may ask Sherry M. Sedai? Suppose you may, since you had the bad luck to find him. Will be up to the emblem seat, but with everything that has happened, I believe she will want to keep this as quiet as possible. Okay. No more new rumors. Yeah, Tavlon's really like they infiltrate Tavlon a lot. Like the Black Archer already infiltrated it years ago, probably another gray man's inside. Very weird. Okay, is she gonna burn him? She's like, no one will touch him. You two go to your room. Okay. 
Yeah, and Sharian's like, yeah, you've got a lot of problems right now surrounding you, so just hurry away. Which might mean that Sharian is good. Or she might be Black Archer and is just very good at hiding it. Nanive said, why did you come up here, Sherry M, said I. Ooh, Nanive. Mm, very nice. Very nicely done. Yeah, ask her. Ask her why. Does the mistress of novices now need an excuse for coming to the novices' quarters accepted? You accept it now, question Esedai? Yeah, be a bit careful, Nanive. Now go before I hold you both down to my study. Yeah, okay. Okay, and Gwen is like, I need to fetch my cloak. I'm just gonna go now. I'm gonna, gonna go now. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run now. And she ran away. Okay, she just wants to clean up the crossbow bolt. Okay. Oh, and it's gone. Okay, so they are pretty good at tidying up after themselves. Oh, it might have been another gray man. Yeah, perhaps there was a pair. Why not? Okay, no one was inside the room. So she like pumped herself full of power just to be a bit uh, like preemptively prepared, whatever you say. And yeah, okay. So they're now back and Nynaeve's a bit different, I think, or something happened. <laughs> and Nynaeve's just like, yeah, I, I was just in shock because of the gray man thing we just found. That's why I'm a bit, I'm a bit like headstrong now, I don't know. Yeah, what did Nynaeve say after Gwen left? And then it's like, yeah, if we want to spy, we have to ask questions. So I'm going to do that as obviously as I can. I don't know why. It's pretty obvious what she does. I don't know. If Sherian was a Black Archer, she would have immediately understood, I think. So she's probably not Black Archer. But perhaps she is, and she's just very clever and pretends to whatever. This is getting very, very complicated. What was that she did to cover the body? Hmm, yeah, what was it? Air. She used air. Okay. Like, is she um, controlling the refraction or whatever? Yeah, why does healing need water? Um, because it's like the essence of life. I understand why it takes that, because air is like the breath of life and, um, and water is the flow of life, like the liquid of life. I don't know. And spirit is obviously life itself. I don't know. Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, okay. So Gwen is really effed because she's like very traumatized now. Okay, I mean, I get it. I would be traumatized as well. Remember? Okay, now Nynaeve's turning into member berries. Remember the body, Gwen? Remember that she tried to kill you? Kill us? Remember? Remember the Black Archer? Remember them all the time? Okay. So otherwise you might be lying dead. Yeah, okay. Did you notice what Sherriam did not mention? What? She never wondered who stabbed him. Ah. Okay, wow, yeah, that's true. Come on in my room. Wow, that's a that's a very Interesting cliffhanger. Okay, yeah, that's true. True. Why would she not ask that? Or perhaps she thought of something herself because, like, she didn't think they did it. She believed them. I don't know. It's very weird. Anyway, so this was it for today. Not that long of a chapter, but, I mean, that's how it happens. Tomorrow we'll go to the next one. And, uh, yeah, I hope you have a great day. Consider liking. And uh, as always, I hope to see you soon and take care of yourself. Bye.